tell the world who you are? I you, am... Who you serve, I guess. <laughs> okay. I am Sophia Ball. I am Danny Hart's girlfriend. Cleaner, feeder, looker after her. <laughs> um, talk us through your day-to-day -day, um, routine with Danny. When we're at home, wake up, make a healthy breakfast. Usually goes to the gym first of all in the morning. Then I have to probably wash the weekend's clothes, helmet, goggles, neck brace, shoes. Uh, and then he'll come back, get lunch, then go for a cross country ride usually every single day. And then he sits and watches videos of himself in the evening. <laughs> and then we'll watch some trashy TV. How, um, how tough is it that, you know, I know a lot of females as wives as girlfriend with professional athletes. Mm -hmm. Is it a lonely world for you? Why do you do what you do? Well, I'm, I think I'm the only one, so I'm different to all of them. I raced World Championship motocross for uh, the last 10 years. So I just stopped racing. I retired in 2013. I had a bad back injury. And uh, so it's all easy for me, actually. It's, uh, I don't have the, the stress of riding myself, but I still have to get the goggles. I do his goggles, his helmet, everything, get all his kit ready. It took me a while to learn exactly what he wanted and needed, but now everything is ready for him and how he wants it. How um, mentally is it important for you to be positive all the time through the ups and downs of time? With Danny, it's really, yeah, I have to be positive. Sometimes it gets the better of me because I think I'm more competitive than he is. Uh, but yeah, all the, I am always positive because I believe, I believe that he's one of the best in the world, definitely. The very small minority of them. Uh, and that he can do better, always can do better. Everyone can always do better. So I'm quite pushy, actually. <laughs> oh, no, it's important. The journey. A lot of the athletes recently are saying, Grace, it's not the win, it's the journey. Can we talk about some of the highlights for you watching Danny? Um, this year he was really worried about his overall position in the championship, so he didn't, in my opinion, push as hard a all or nothing in his runs throughout the year, and I knew that he could do better. In the last round he gave everything. He was up at the first split, up at the second split, and then he crashed and he finished I think 25th or something. That was the best race of the whole year for me because he, you could see that he was giving absolutely everything and it's so nerve wracking sitting at the bottom waiting for him to come down. It's horrible. <laughs> um, Andorra, it's a tough track mm -hmm. and it really is um, a hit and miss a lot of the riders are saying it's a bit of luck. Yeah, yeah, it looks like it. I don't, I don't know what advice to give him because this is the first World Champs I've ever been to. It's totally different from the World Cups. Basically he won't be happy unless he wins, so he needs to give everything but then still not crash because if you crash I don't think you can win. It's different to how it was yesterday. It's drying out so you, you need to get down in one piece and be on the edge as well. So I don't... <laughs> Did you know Danny in 2011? I knew Danny, uh, I knew of him, I think he's the only, other than Steve, Pete and Rob Warner, the only uh, downhill rider that I'd heard of. And I met him um, at motocross in 2012, because he's a super fan of motocross, so I had the pleasure of meeting him before, yeah. The saying amongst this sport is, you're only as good as your last ride. Yes. And he's got this kind of... 2011, 12-second yeah. epic win. He's not a big-headed person whatsoever, and whenever anyone mentions it to him, especially since I've known him, he's like, well, that was quite a few years ago now, so I think he's done it himself, you know. He... But, on the other hand, he has won a World Champ, so he comes into this round really confident, knowing that he can win one, whereas he hasn't won a World Cup yet. So, it's, it's difficult in your mind to get the right mindset, so it's good.